Welcome back to part two. Strong, healthy, and full of energy. Let's go. The materials. Now you can download all HDRI maps and textures for the material part. Go, go, go. Download it. And let's move on with the tutorial. Alright, now we came to the last part, the cool part, material part. And first we open here our render view to see what happened in our scene. And yeah, hit play and wait what happened. Okay, now everything looks like this. And first we will create a light. And for this I work with a dome light, lights dome light then you go under object then you have to press add graph and now you can insert here an image and for this project i use this sky image here uh, we also use it later on as a background and yeah you find it uh, as already explained in the caption all files that we use here for the project okay insert it now you get a bluish color here and it is a little bit too dark to increase the lightning you go to intensity multiplier and here we choose four all right um now we go under camera and lens effect and because we will work with a uh, material that glow we have to change here some values. We need the bloom. And here we choose uh, really high values, like this one here. Flare, we also need to something values like this. The intensity, you have to increase full. And stick, we also use here, but with a not strong intensity, but with the highest threshold and the big sail, like this. And yeah. Later on, when we create the materials, you will see what's happening. Okay, now press here on the icon. And as you can see here, the all materials from the buildings. Select all without the dome material, because this is our lightning material, and delete them, because we don't need them. <laughs> okay, our first material, double click here in this window. And this is our floor material. Drag and drop it here. And it's a simple dark material. Here we choose black and a roughness of one. And yeah, this is the ground here that it's get uh, dark between the buildings. Nothing special. Now create with double click a new material. This is our background material here. So the background is under the camera, drag and drop it here. And now drag and drop the sky image inside of the window, like this. This is the sky image here. And connect it with the base color, with the sheen color, and with the emission color. Emission color. All right. Now go under plane, the coordinates, and Rotated by 180 degrees. Oh, I mean this plane by 180 degrees. Yeah, because now it's on the right side. Now we create the moon material. And for this, we create a new material, drag and drop it on the disk. And we also have, you also get this moon image here in the folder. So open the material. Drag and drop the moon here inside and connect it with the base color and the emission color. And go now here under emission and increase it by one that the moon is glowing. And as you can see, the moon is not on the right position here. To fix it, go under the texture, change here the scale values to 0.7 and 0 0.8 and we also change here the offset to 4.4 and 2.58 okay the 9 4.49 is important to fix it <laughs> okay now it looks like this perfect okay now we create a new material here are the buildings drag and drop it on the buildings 
like this. It looks already really good. Here we change the base color to something more bluish. The color code is 2E37 by 4, like this. And we also increase the metalness to get really cool reflection on the buildings from the moon. And we also increase the roughness to 0 0.3. Do you want to know how to add windows and the moody ambiente like this here in my example? Become an art invader on YouTube and get access to my secret videos. I will show you there how you can turn this into this. Only in a few minutes and with free programs. A secret. And that's it. Well done, art invaders. If you like the video, please leave a like, follow or comment. And we see us in the next week.